And it is Friday, January 28th at 12.33 p.m. Central Time. How are you? Come on in, everybody. Grab a seat. Pull up a chair. Come on in. Come on in. Pull up a chair and tell me how you've been. We're fixing to sing, I'm doing the lead. So if you could sing the harmony, but if you can't sing in tune, well, that's okay because we still need you. Just don't forget your sparkling water, see? And sit up straight and sing along with me. Come on in, come on in. Pull up a chair and tell me how you've been. Hey, Dale, Diane, Betty, just don't forget your decaf on sweet tea. And sit up straight and sing along with me. Yeah, y'all. Just sit up straight and sing along with me. Come on in. Oh, just by the time I think I got all the goop off my vocal cords, more comes. Hi, everybody. I hope you're having a blessed day. We got a lot today. Larry Ford, I interviewed him this morning. I, I taped it so I could play it for y'all. He and his wife and... uh Amy, their daughter, and y'all, it is a fun interview, because Amy and Cheryl, they are just, I love that, the pre-interview, when we were connecting and checking out the signals and making sure we could hear each other, was so funny, I should have recorded all that, because ain't poor Larry, he, he doesn't have to talk, ever, I, what a wonderful, wonderful, uh-oh, I got a, uh, text. Let me turn that off. But anyway, <clears throat> I'm glad you're here with me. Y'all ready to sing before we hear from Larry and Amy and Cheryl? Loved it so much this morning. Oh, I got to show you this. I uh, On my phone, you can videotape uh, slow motion. So I, sh I want to show you this. I videotaped Bella yesterday running from Dina's house to my house. What? Look at her. All right, now she's in slow motion. Isn't she a cutie? That girl is a cutie. Hi, y'all. Well, let's sing. You ready? I've got them all in order so we don't have to. Uh... Ooh, except I forgot that one. I told Cheryl I would sing her favorite song this morning. And I am going to do it. It's called Joy Unspeakable. Let's all sit up straight and sing now. You ready? <clears throat> I have found his grace is all complete. He supplied every need. While I sit and learn at Jesus' feet, I am free, yes, free indeed. Sing. Well, it is joy unspeakable and full of glory, full of glory, full of glory. It is joy unspeakable and full of glory. Oh, the half has never yet been told. I have found the pleasure I once craved. It is joy and peace within. What a wondrous blessing I am saved From the awful gulf of sin Sing! Well, it is joy unspeakable And full of glory, full of glory, full of glory It is joy unspeakable and full of glory Oh, the half has never yet been told Oh, the half has never yet been told. All right, the half has never yet been told. I love that old hymn. All right, the trolls are out, the spam spammers and scammers. 
A troll is posing as you and private messaging me. Everyone beware. Thank you, Taha Sukovati. Sukovati. Thank you. Sukovati. Sukovati, I think. Anyway, thank you. Y'all look out for them. They're, when I go live, they come out of the woodwork like roaches. If, if someone is pretending to be me, that means if someone named Mark Lowry is private messaging you, it is not me. Someone has stolen my pictures and someone is faking my name. And if you talk to them, you'll find out they're illiterate because they're probably in another foreign country and don't really know English that well. So beware, beware. Let's keep singing. You want to? I am uh, so excited today that we're going to do some Dottie Rambo songs like this one. Sit up straight, y'all, and sing with me. I feel the touch of hands so kind and tender. They're leading me in paths that I must try. I'll have no fear. Cause Jesus walks beside me And I'm sheltered in the arms of God So let the storms rage high The dark clouds rise They won't worry me for I'm sheltered, safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, and not of earth shall harm me. For I'm sheltered in the arms of God Soon I shall hear the call from heaven's portals Come on home my child This is the last mile you must try I'll fall asleep and wake in God's new heaven, sheltered safe within the arms of God. Sing with me, y'all. Come on. So let the storms rage high, the dark clouds rise, they won't worry me, for I'm sheltered safe within the arms of God. He walks with me, and not of shall harm me for I'm sheltered in the arms of God for we're sheltered in the arms of God Another great Dottie Rambo song, y'all. Sing with me. <clears throat> he left the splendor of heaven. Sing. Knowing his destiny was the lonely hill of Golgotha. There to lay down his life for me. If that 
that isn't enough. The ocean is dry. There are no stars in the sky. And the sparrow can't fly if that isn't love. Then the heaven is a myth. There's no feeling like this if that isn't love. Oh, listen to this verse and sing with me, y'all. Even in death, he remembered the thief hanging by his side. He just spoke with love and compassion. Then he took him to paradise. If that is love, my Lord, the ocean is dry. There are no stars in the sky. That little sparrow can't fly If that is a love Then heaven is a myth There's no feeling like this If that isn't love the ocean is dry. There's no stars in the sky. The sparrow can't fly. If that isn't love. Amen. And I said there's no there there's no stars in the sky. That's incorrect in English. It's there are no stars in the sky. And I caught it when I said it, but it came out of my mouth before I could stop it. Y'all, is that not a great song? Did you get any snow today, Rebecca Wheeler wants to know? No, Rebecca Wheeler, I didn't get any snow. We don't have snow in Houston. It's cool. It's pretty cold. I don't know how cold it is, but there's no snow. All right, here's another good Dottie Rambo song. Are you ready? <clears throat> oh, I love this one because my mom is in heaven and it reminds me of her mama's teaching angels how to sing there's a voice missing in our little country choir Rock of ages will never sound the same. God heard her singing, and heaven was not complete. Now, mama's teaching angels how to sing. I bet she is. Mama's teaching angels how to sing. Heaven's halls are silent when Mama sings. David lays down his heart and heaven's bells won't ring. When mama's teaching angels how to sing The old home is empty 
empty It's lonesome since she's gone And it's hard to know She won't return again <laughs> But I'll meet her in the morning on heaven's golden hills where mama's teaching angels how to sing come on sing with me <clears throat> mama's teaching angels how to sing david's heaven's halls are silent when mama sings, David lays down his heart, and heaven's bells won't ring. When mama's teaching angels how to sing, David lays down his heart. And heaven's bells won't ring when mama's teaching angels how to sing. That's where their Rambos ended it. Remember the singing Rambos? Oh, Lord, yes, you do. You, if you don't, I'm sorry. You're too young, probably. But I first heard him when I was 11 years old at the Jones Hall in Houston, Texas, and I'll never forget it. There are moments in your life that you can almost remember what you were wearing, you know? And, you, and I never know what I'm wearing, but if it smells good, I'll wear it. So, but anyway, the Jones Hall, I was 11 years old. Duke and Carlene Westover went with us. They had front row seats. And during the second half, they let me have one of those seats because I had already fallen in love with the singing Rambos in the first half of the program. And I wanted a closer look. So we went all the way down to the front row and sat there and Buck, Dottie, and Reba. Hey, oh, look, look, there's Bella Dean. Uh-oh, Bella, what, what? No, 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 get, get back in your seat. There's no one, there's no one here. You, here, let me let her go look. Hold on. She is the queen of this house. You rule. Go look. She'll be back. I was going to show you where she was seated. I forgot. Anyway. Is there someone here? Hold on. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Philip just showed up. He's got a dog. He's taken. He's got a dog, y'all, that I'm fixing to go see. And then I'm taking him to the airport, and he's flying with that dog up to Nashville, and it's a puppy. And they say they got a couple of more, but I'm praying the Lord will give me strength because I do not need any more puppies. Uh, all right, let's sing something, and then I'm going to start that interview with the Fords, and you're going to love it. Let's sing one more song that I got up for us today. Lily of the Valley, don't you love that one? I do. Let's sing it together. You want to? I do. I, I, I won't. You want to? That is, a, that is a Texas thing, you know, you want to. <clears throat> okay, Lily of the Valley, let's sing it. Let me hit it again. All right, here we go. I have found a friend in Jesus. He's everything to me. He's the fairest of 10,000 to my soul. The lily of the valley, in him alone I see. All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In trouble, he's my comfort. In trouble, he's my stay. He tells me every care on him to roll. He's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. He'll never, never leave me, nor yet forsake me. 
you while I live by faith and do his blessed will. Oh, wall of fire about me, I've nothing now to fear. From his manner, he my hungry soul shall feel. Then sweeping up to glory to see his blessed face, where rivers of delight shall ever roll. Hallelujah, he's the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. The fair of the valley, the bright and morning star, the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Larry Ford and Cheryl and now Amy. There's a new trio in town. <laughs> Is that right? Or are you, hey, Larry, how are you? First, let's find out how you're doing. How are you, Larry? Hey, doing fine. The, the, the COVID has not caught up with us. Oh, good. You haven't gotten it either, huh? No, sir. That is fantastic. And, uh, Cheryl, how are you? I'm doing good. We've been... We've been vaccinated and prayed for and sanctified and covered by the blood. And we're just we really thankful that all of it. We, yep, yeah. exactly. That is fantastic. And Amy, how are you? Greetings. I'm you, wonderful. You know what is so funny? Before we went live, Amy and Cheryl wouldn't shut up. I have, n and now y'all clammed up like on me. And I want to keep talking like I heard when we, we're I shouldn't have told to you we were going we're live. Give us a minute. We'll we're, get going. Don't we're worry. We're trying to step back so Brother Ford will speak up. That's right. Okay, Larry, first let's get to the new single. Tell me about, and, and happy 50th anniversary. Thank you very much. That's what all this is about. The 50th anniversary song, which is called Only Time Can Tell. Yes. Is that what the name of it is? That's it. Okay. That's it. Okay. Only Time Can Tell. And it is a really great song. It's written by my brother-in-law, Tom Sturbins. And not only that, it was produced by a young lady that I've known since she was five years old. Her name is Kenna Turner West. I love her. She has blessed our lives. She's with a great music. writer. She is she a is. great writer. And I'm proud to have her on board with this song because she produced the music for it. And I am grateful. That is fantastic. Now, in the show notes, after we get through with this interview and this show today, go mm -hmm. to LarryFord.com and also go to Larry's YouTube channel, which I have the link in the show notes. If you're watching on YouTube, I think it's you click. Anyway, you can find it on Facebook. It's above you, I believe. And click on that link and go watch it. By the way, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and you ring that bell. And if you're watching on Facebook, share, share, share. Sharing is caring, y'all. Okay, <clears throat> so Cheryl, how's it been 50 years of marriage? Let me think. Well... We met when the two of us were singing in two separate groups. Oh. And uh, we met at the Open Bible Church in Pensacola, Florida. I was singing with the Sammy Hall singers. I and remember he them. showed up. You do? Oh, yes. Yes. I, knew Sam I met Sammy Hall when I was like 11. Yeah. He was precious yeah. so anyway we went to a studio for a tv taping after church that afternoon and this guy <laughs> showed up in the back of the studio but he was all rumpled up had all wrinkled clothes and i thought he was oh, a camera guy yeah. or something oh. i had no idea who he was <laughs> and then after we left the studio somebody said did you see who was in the back of the studio that was larry ford and I'm like Bill exactly. Gaither. I said, who's Larry Ford? Yeah. <laughs> and they said. Oh, she is, was going to learn who Larry Ford was. <laughs> he, said, he is an amazing tenor. And he's a preacher. And I thought, well, that's one of the reasons I was traveling and singing. I got tired of uh, 
staying in our little home church in Fort Myers with about a hundred people. And I had already checked out all the marriageable possibility and I didn't get very far. So when Sammy asked me to travel and sing with him, I thought for sure, well, now that's a great way to find a husband. Yeah. (laughs) Turns out. Hadn't heard that before. I didn't. I, I'm thankful Me I met either. Larry, but it's not because you're in a different town every night. Every you night. Unseemly. You just can't meet somebody that night and go out with it, go off and take off. So I never met, I never dated anybody yeah. until I met Larry in Pensacola. And, th- and then y'all got married how soon after that? We met in... Uh, July. July. Yes. We met in July. We saw each other again in Charlotte, North Carolina, mm-hmm. at a concert. Yeah. When we, when we talked in Pensacola, no, that was Winston Salem. It was Winston was, Salem. Yeah, that's, that's what right. it was. So we got on real well at our first meeting in Pensacola. I had lost my wallet, and he found it for me. And he's been finding stuff for her ever since. Oh, really? Oh, oh, good line. She, good she line. Lo- I know it. She loses so everything. So then we decided everything. that our our schedules were going to coincide in Winston-Salem. And I thought I had made a really big impression on him in Pensacola. <laughs> but uh-huh. when I got to Winston-Salem, oh, no, Mama, don't tell this story. we oh. were backstage. Please let her I, tell it. I walked up behind him and I did like this. And I said, guess who? And he said, Reba. Reba. I promise. I promise. Like Reba Reba Rambo. Rambo. Yeah. So clearly I did not make the impression on him that I thought I had. Oh, that is hysterical. Come on now, let me off the hook. They were on the same program that day. So I I had reason to say Reba. Reba. But did you forget I was coming? No, no, he didn't. I'm sure he didn't. I don't think I did. <laughs> he did a good save, Amy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, so the song is out. It's called Only Time Can Tell. That's and true. I love this lyric. I, I mean, if you've been married a long time, you are going to love. My parents were married 62 years. Oh, wow. They know about and, this song. And then the Lord took Mama home. And Daddy still considers himself married. You know, he oh, he I says know. he's he had the best. He's eighty nine now, and um, you know he's slowing down, of course. But aren't we all? My, my favorite line in the song says, "Now you've loved me long enough that time has told what only time can tell." I do too. Now, who wrote the lyric? Did uh, my, my brother Tom? Your brother. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, I think everybody's going to love this song. Now, you three are traveling. I mean, how, tell me what's going on in your professional little trio world. What's happening? When we finish this. Yeah, when we finish here on this show with you, we're going to get in the car and drive to Stewart, Florida. Stuart, to a Methodist yeah, church. To a Methodist church over there and sing for them. And then... <laughs> we're do, going to do one of those gospel things. We're going to turn around and drive home the same night. <laughs> yes, all okay. night. And, so and, and uh, if if people want to come, is that this coming Sunday night? No, that's tonight. Oh, tonight. tonight. Sir, yes. yes, sir. Wow. Uh, what's the name of the and church? And then we're at the home church in uh, this weekend at Sunshine uh, Christian Church. And then next weekend, Jacksonville. It's just um, daddy's. We we keep thinking he's a lot of retire, different places, but, yeah. But he says not yet. Well, why? What you know? I I threaten that about every twenty years. You do. You know, I I, I mean, I was, this time I was going to do it. I took twenty nineteen off because I was preparing to see if I could handle it. I loved it. That's when I started really going live a lot and didn't have to leave the house and reach more people than I could ever see in person. Yeah. <clears throat> Mark, I remember seeing you first on the Gospel Singing Jubilee. Yeah. Yeah. You were 12 years old, and what a talent. Woo! Oh, I Where remember those days. We were in Nashville, Tennessee, and Mark and his mom came in and did the program wow, there with everybody. the gospel singing jubilee? Oh. Yeah, there's still footage out there of it somewhere. <laughs> yes, there is <laughs> somewhere. There's always footage somewhere. It's on YouTube, I'm sure. There, you know, when I was that age, eleven, there's footage at the end of my, I think, one of my videos of of an all night gospel sing. I'm sure you'd been at it. I, I 
What was the first group you ever sang in, Larry? First group I ever sang it. Well, I have to honestly, it wasn't the group I was singing with, but I sang with the Downings as a soloist. Oh. And then from there, I went to the Dixie Echoes. And that's what led me to the gospel singing Jubilee. And then from the Jubilee, not a lot of people don't know this, and I don't tell it a lot, but they offered me a permanent position on the Jubilee. And I, I went home, told Cheryl, we prayed, and we figured that that wasn't the thing for us to do. Yeah. So we came home, and we took our first church. Wow. So Daddy pastored. Yes, in Texas and, and Florida. in Florida. <clears throat> huh. Florida, Texas, and then back to Florida again. We wow. had a great time. Well, and, and you know, Daddy, Mom didn't mention that shortly they had a, a long-distance relationship in the beginning. I think they were. For a month. They were, they were sending letters <laughs> back and forth for, for a least. month. And then uh, married quickly, and uh, we got married in a uh, fever. Uh, 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 oh. in the chapel, and had how many children? Six kids in six years, and then they got a TV. Oh my goodness, that's funny. <laughs> Why do they tell that story oh. all the time? I don't do know. they say that a lot on you? Because who's who has six kids in six? You know years? what? That's a lot. Do you use that line in concert? Oh, the she does. Oh, she thinks on. it's funny. But, but I tell you what, it is funny, and I bet the people love it when you say it. Oh. His favorite is to tell all of my brother's names because, well, no, his favorite joke to tell, and please laugh if you're listening because it'll make him feel better. <laughs> he loves to tell this. So my brothers are Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, not Seth. X. <laughs> Seth. 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 There's a Seth. Yeah. Um and my name is actually you call most people call me Amy, but my legal name is Amanda. And my sure. dad says, I know what you're thinking. Amanda is not a Bible name. Oh, yes, it is. Go ahead, Daddy. God told Joshua to send a man to fight. <laughs> took you a while, but you got the humor of it, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Well, listen, thank you so much for telling us all about your 50 years of marriage and your trio. And if they're in your area, go to LarryFord.com. I'm sure the schedule is on there somewhere, correct? Yes, sir, it is. All right. And you're on Facebook? We are. And YouTube. And YouTube. So <clears throat> go watch the video now. God bless y'all. Have a good day. Well, don't leave yet, y'all. There's a part two to this. We were about to say bye. And uh, let me check something. Y'all were saying you couldn't hear during the song, the last song. I want to just come over here and see. No, it's on. Okay, that wasn't the case then. Good, 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 good. Okay, I'm going to show you part two now. Uh, uh, Cheryl said, I got one more story I want to tell you. I said, well, hold on. Let me just hit record. And so I did. And uh, this is what she said. Uh-oh, hold on. Larry with the video. He hold did on. it first assembly. Over. It was called. You remember when you came to Fort Myers to help Larry with the video he did at First Assembly? It was called Home Where I Belong. And you sang that song, which is a gorgeous song. Absolutely. With your Robert Goulet voice. Oh you sang. The interesting, I'm interrupting. The interesting part of the video, we were, we were recording it live at our home church. And the interesting part was that we had kind of two segments. The front half was Home Where I Belong or, or Home Songs About Here earthly home i think we did uh mm -hmm. the john denver it's good to be back home again right and then on the yep. second half uh we did the songs about, about heaven eternal home mm -hmm. and that's where you got to come out and and we still hear comments about uh that video and and you being on there with woody wright and oh, Stephen yeah. hill daddy's yeah. buddies oh Stephen. Um, yes um i don't know i know you won't remember this part and that's okay uh our, my dad's father, my papa, um, just days before we had spent, you know, months and months planning this video and days before had had a, a massive stroke mm. and was put in the hospital. And we were trying to keep dad steady because obviously that's, you know, emotionally shocking news. And we were going from the hospital to the church for rehearsals in the hospital. And they were trying to see if some of those medications would reverse the effects of the stroke and uh, were kind of calling us at the church and giving us updates. And about three hours before we were supposed to go on, 
uh, we got a call, mom got a call from the hospital that said, he's not responding to anything and there's nothing more we can do. And we're going to be moving him to a hospice, a facility for end of life care and make him comfortable. And uh, mom said, I feel like I'm in such a position because I, I, I want to go tell your dad, you know, right now. Daddy was, we were in the green room. Dad was <coughs> up there getting ready. And you and Woody were sitting on the little couch in the green room. And uh, Stephen was around. at the table. Stephen was at the table. <coughs> and we turned around to tell uh, about the phone call. And we explained it to you. And mom said, I just feel like I'm in such a, such a, a position. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what to do. And your response was so wise. Uh, you said, first of all, there's a lot of people coming tonight. And if, you know, this news will obviously um, have a profound impact on Larry. And I just want to ask you, what would Larry's father want him to do? Oh, I just got chills. That wasn't for me. I don't remember saying that. And, that, was, that must have been uh, the Lord. Mom, if that makes sense. And mom said, I just got my answer. Wow. And uh, so Thank we waited to Lord. tell him uh, for a few hours, just a few hours. And we went on and had a, a beautiful, beautiful evening singing about a heavenly home, ironically. And uh, the very next morning, they moved him to the facility and dad was with him uh, oh. when he when he went home. Um, but it was just uh, that 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 moment for us was uh, i guess solidified you you for us as family oh. not only that not only that but larry was obviously aware that he was in the hospital and he was in very bad shape <clears throat> so in retrospect when he recalls or recounts to someone that evening mm -hmm. he always says mark and stephen and woody carried me through that night okay. and um so We've we loved you family. for a long time, but we've really loved you since then because that was hard. <laughs> you know what? Isn't the Lord good to us? He yes, is. he is. I mean, he think about help. that. Think about that. That really wasn't about that video. No. no. The wasn't. Lord wanted Woody and me there for Larry. Absolutely. Understood. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Here, we thought we were going to make a video, and the Lord blessed it, and we did. And it's <laughs> blessed a lot of people. But the real, obviously, to me now, looking back, of course, you know, rear view mirrors, 2020. Right. But yeah. what? Oh, that was a wise thing to say. If I do say so myself. Aren't you proud of you? <laughs> yeah, I'm you very can... proud. Here. You did. You did good. The I'm Lord telling. is good. The Lord is greatly to be praised. And that's the truth. And that's one more reason for it. Because I thank the Lord that he gave me the wisdom to say that. Yes. I'd, for, I'd totally life. forgotten that, and I got blessed well, again. Thank you for you know, telling we me We read scripture about the body of Christ, and we've all read it over and over. And so when you reread things, sometimes you don't really absorb, or it, you know, you've just become conditioned to hearing it. Mm -hmm. But in circumstances like that, um, when the Lord specifically uses somebody to speak to you, or even like in the last two years, Mark, with all the COVID stuff, you know, when, when we read scripture, when we read devotions in the morning, or when we watch the Gaither videos and we listen to those songs that we have all heard oh, yeah. since we were children, Larry and I have remarked so many times, they sound new, they sound different. Um, Vestal was singing um, so, uh, on a video, you know, when they go in their little studio, just the two of them, and they do those programs. What a blessing that has been. Yes. Right. And uh, I remember hearing her sing uh, when I, uh, I, the Dottie Rambo song, I'll take my flight like a mighty eagle. Right. Mm -hmm. So many songs just sound different to me because of all that. All Bars of, us have of bone hold my uh -huh. soul, but uh -huh. the doors of clay are going to burst. Uh -huh. right right wow. Wow. The right over. angel sets my spirit yeah. free. I'll right. take my flight like a like mighty, mighty eagle, eagle. cause the hills of home are calling me. Amen. I Amen. love Dottie Rambo. Thank yeah. God she was born. 
Yes. What yes. a writer. Yeah. What a writer. Those songs, as somebody said, those songs just hit different these days. Yeah. <laughs> and they hit home. I mean, all three. I told Gloria Gaither. In fact, they called right before we talked today. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. Bill said, I didn't mean it. He said he butt dialed me. But then we talked for 30 <laughs> minutes. And, he's, and he and Gloria were in the car. And I told him I was going to interview you. And they love you so much, Larry oh. and Cheryl and Amy. I'm telling you, they are, Bill was speaking so well of you. Yes, we I love, love that. I love spreading good oh, gossip. They were just I call it spreading good gossip. When I hear somebody say something good about somebody, I go tell them. Yeah, good Thank gossip. you. Good Thank gossip. you. They were just at First Assembly, our home church, the vocal band, and Wes was ill, and Jason Crab stepped in for him. Yeah. And let me tell you, we had church. Mm -hmm. We did. We did. They yes. have the coolest new arrangement of Child of the King. I don't know if you've heard it. You I have a lot to hear it. Oh, it's amazing. amazing. And then they sang, you know, that old song that uh, Bill and Gloria wrote, Worthy? Mm -hmm. Oh, my word. They, they did an arrangement of that. Everybody in the congregation, probably close to 3,000 people, were on their feet worshiping. It Isn't was wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. It was that amazing. Is the best. Was. Thank you, Mark. For well, thank you for that second story. That blessed me. I'm so thankful that the Lord used me in your life that time. What a blessing to be used of the Lord. It is. It is, and it was, yes. It I was. love you guys. That's a memory for us, for sure. I love you. Take care. We love yes. you, too. Thank you, Bye -bye. sir. I love you.